All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Harakah, Kadash, double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. And um, at camp yesterday, you know, we had this bug out lady that came, you know, with her madness talking about, you know, the original man, you know, uh, melanin, you know, that whole type of uh, nonsense. And um, she asked, she asked a question and she said, well, who is the original people? And I stated, we are the original people. Okay. Now, what I meant by that was dark skinned people, you know, are the original people. That is the dominant complexion on the earth. That's what I meant, you know. So I don't want no one to take that uh, of what I was saying as, you know, the, as, as the, like the Israelites are the original people. You know, um, I, I was saying as dark skinned people, right, were here first. All right. That's what I was that's what I was basically trying to say, you know, but I kind of uh, worded it and said it in you know the wrong way. OK, now the original Israelites, you know, are, uh, you know, they were originally, you know, a, a dark skinned people as well. OK, you know, but now, you know, through, through the mixing and mingling and dealing with different nations and, you know, uh, slavery and all those different things that happen uh, to us, you know, we're uh, different shades. OK, we're different complexions. You know, we got even people of our nation that look like, you know, people of the other nation. All right. And I did a um, I did a basic I did a basic, uh, you know, breakdown, breakdown on that almost at the end of that uh, last camp segment dealing with. Blake Griffin's father and his mother and how Blake Griffin, you know, uh, messed with a woman from another nation and he brought forth a son that looks like a straight Edomite, but he's an Israelite. OK, but back then, you know, we were all of a dark, complected uh, people. All right. Now, you know, we're going to deal with Adam here. OK, because she made the statement of what, what, what color is the original people and things like that. All right. Now, let's go back to Adam. So is this the book of Genesis 2 verse 7? It says, And the Lord and the Lord God formed the man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. You see, so Adam, right, which wasn't the only person back then. All right, they weren't Adam and Eve weren't the only people. There were nations around them. You know, but who the Lord was dealing with, he was dealing with Adam because he breathed into him, what? Uh, a living soul. I mean, he breathed in, breathed into his nostrils, the breath of life, which what? Which had Adam become what? A living soul. Matter of fact, let's get, um, let's get, <clears throat> so I don't like dealing with this one. Let's, let's go to the book of, um. Right, because the Heavenly Father breathed, right, the Spirit on Ad, on Adam, right. Um, Wisdom of Solomon. Let's go to one of Wisdom of Solomon seven verse twenty five, and it says, "I'll start at verse twenty four. For wisdom is more moving than any motion; she passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath of the of the power of the Most High." And pure and in a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty, therefore can no undefiled thing fall into her. Okay, so the ways of life was given unto Adam. All right, so the Lord breathed the Spirit. The Lord gave him wisdom. Okay, the Lord gave Adam, uh, basically commandments to follow to go by. You see. He was he had commandments to go back, so Adam was made a living soul. Now going back, I mean, I want to make hit the point because we was going to Adam's complex complexion. In the Hebrew, Adam's name is what Adama, meaning ground, because he was from the ground, the earth. When you look at the color of the earth, the more you dig into the earth into the soil, you know they would say it's richer, but it becomes dark. Okay, so it says. And the Lord, when the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground 
and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. So this is dealing with Adam. So I'm going and starting with this for the purpose of, you know, yes, the uh, uh, dark skinned people were originated first. Yes, a dark, a dark skin complected people. Now, you know, Esau, which is the so-called white man, he came from a dark skinned person as well. He came from who? Um, he came from uh, Isaac and Rebecca. You see? And he is our evil, wicked twin brother. But yes, he came from a dark skinned woman whose name was Rebecca. And, and his father, which was a dark skinned man, which was who? Which was Isaac. You see? But according to these people and their mind state, that's not possible. You see? They say, they, they think that that's not possible, but it is possible. Okay, because it happened. We see as they're here on earth today, which the progenitor of the so-called white people are who? Uh, it is Edom. Okay? Which his father was Isaac, a so-called uh, black man. Okay? So uh, I want to go into effect. Make this quick. I'm not even going to make this long because the point is, is basically made. Um, Adam. You see? In Hebrews, Adama. It's a man. Okay? Adama. It tries to give you, uh, it says, uh, ruddy. When you really go into, go into ruddy, you know, it's a type of a, a, a brown. You see, it's not it's not red, but it's a type of brown. Okay, but yeah, Adam, meaning uh, uh, Adam Adama, goes into the word goes into ground. Okay, because what Adam was formed from the ground, Adam was formed from the dust. You see, Adam was formed through the dust. See the earth, the rubbish, the ground, the mortar. You see. And that was the original, you know, uh, color, the, 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 the original color uh, of people on the earth as a dark complected people. But even when you people go into that, you, what is your, what is your argument? What is your main argument about that? Okay. Who's the original people, dark skinned people? Cause it really doesn't matter because all the nations on the earth, um, at a point in time were dark, right? Or dark and as far as melanin, every nation on the earth has melanin except for Esau Edom because he has leprosy. He has the lack of pigmentation. Okay. So, you know, I just, you know, wanted to touch on that, you know, just to just to uh, explain it more. If someone may have took it the wrong way when I said we are the original people, meaning, yes, I was I, I was meaning in a way of, yes, dark skinned people were originated first you see so hey lord well i hope this lesson was that i find until next time show one